Just following this radius here, so this is my template. Just tracing this outside aluminum flashing. And after I get this cut, I'll lay it over top of the quartz stone. I'll lay out, lay out a big swath of the stone. Okay, well, you guys are in for a real fun treat today because I am working on some stone 30 feet in the air, in the sun, in Florida. This is so much fun. Here's how we're gonna do this. On my belly. Oh, man. I figure this is a good time to make a YouTube video because when you're this high up in the air, you're gonna be honest, you know? <laughs> you don't wanna be making videos lying to your audience about anything when you're... I don't, I don't know how far in the air I am, honestly. I'm so far up. Just following this radius here. So this is my template. Just tracing this outside aluminum flashing. And after I get this cut, I'll lay it over top of the quartz stone. I'll lay out, lay out a big swath of the stone, set this on top of it, trace it. Theoretically, it'll allow me to cut all of my pieces at once. Get all this radius tile set today. Shout out Joe Martin. flew me down to Pensacola, Florida to get over my fear of heights. Oh, that scared me. This is ram board. Oh man. It's a nice windy day too, which makes this just so fun. Okay, I'm gonna look down just to soak it in. Feel it. Oh man. That's intense. Okay, I gotta do that one more time. Here we go. God, give me strength. Oh man. should uh, come up with a good title for this video, like, Tile Guy <laughs> Becomes a Man. <laughs> oh, there's a bird flying. <sighs> oh, <laughs> These birds, there they go. Look at them. They don't have a problem. Oh, I shouldn't have looked up like that. Here's what I want to do. I thought about making the template setting it all, tracing it on the set tile, then cutting it afterwards, like sometimes you see pool coping guys do. But the problem with that is two things. One, I don't want to run my grinder along that aluminum flashing and tear it all up. And two, like I could kill someone if a big piece, as I'm cutting it, just breaks off unexpectedly, just falls below. So. Look at the little ants down there. Those are people. Those are people. Yep, way down there. Give you guys a real good view now. Bird's eye view. over the edge. It doesn't even see me. It saw me that time. <clears throat> Clean off this. I'm gonna drag that template onto this. Well first, 
Let's set a bunch of tile down. Clean this off, set the tile, drag the template onto the tile, trace it, cut it, set it. All right, your trash can up here. Nice long straight edge. issue with this stone is, you know, this is probably a half, 30 second over a half of an inch, and then like this piece right here, it's a 5 8 5 8 true 5 8 so look at these pieces next to each other, that's, oh my goodness, almost an eighth of an inch difference, that my friends is where a lippage happens. I'll try and fight that as good as we can. The hard thing about fixing that with mud is it's just really hard to get proper coverage. You're trying to make up differences like that in the stone. It's not a so much a technique issue there as it is a manufacturer issue with their product. But why they pay me the uh, the big pennies. It is so nice working in the sun. <sighs> Even when you're 35 feet in the air. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's a that's a bad way to put it. Better way to put it was I don't see how it could get any better. better for a tile guy if you love tile work it's not even tile work it's just like you know what if you love life wow the piece is supposed to be square but that is not square a little secret for you guys when it comes to natural stone like this very easy to it, it's not all it's not rectified right it's natural stone it's close to rectified but you could take your grinder after you set it if you've got a joint that's not quite square from the factory you can run your blade in there and clean it up oh okay <laughs> There goes half of my template. Oh, God. Hey, you guys aren't coming up here, are you? I dropped my template. <laughs> Now, gotta set these bad boys. It's a lot of Crete. Trilite thin set over strata mat, which is over top of a primary roofing membrane. The deck is all pitched away from the house. This is a primary roofing membrane with cast sand. Then you burn in platinum into the cast sand. Attach the strata mat. Ooh, my camera's gonna blow over. Put the strata mat over top of the roofing membrane with the cast sand with platinum. Set the stone with trilite. After this is set, I will put a quarter round profile on this whole radius, but I chose to 
set it first and then profile it after because I love hanging over the edge. Now actually it's just so I could get a very uniform profile on the radius. Back and forth, collapse your ridges real good. Squish that mud. These are Raimondi clips with perfect level master wedges actually. They work together pretty good. Ooh, that wind. Gotta get on my belly. Get that tri light off that flashing. One down, infinity to go. Five eighths pavers are kind of nasty to work with. They do not cooperate very well. All this mud, I'm just gonna leave that. It's way easier to let that dry and flake it off tomorrow. Move my camera. See the back of this stone perfectly flat so there's not really a great need to to back butter that this tri light's so sticky that it'll it just touches it and it's stuck immediately so in case you're wondering why i'm not back buttering not every single application calls for that i know someone's gonna probably cry about that but it's okay it will bond and I also lifted up quite a bit of these last week when I was setting this so I got a lot of visual confirmation of my coverage it's definitely getting lots of coverage and you can see by the way it's oozing it's another good way to know like oh yeah you got lots of mud under there
Oh, busted. Hey you! 